Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So today's video, we're we'll talking about whether or not you should buy the nightclub. And this is kind of like a, a nightclub tutorial and guide, kind of going over a little bit of everything about the nightclub. Because <laughs> right now there is an awesome discount, 60% off of all nightclubs and all of their add-ons. And if you don't have a nightclub, it is one of the best methods or businesses to make money and you can combine it with other methods in the game. It's a passive income and it is absolutely mandatory that you own a nightclub in GTA 5 Online, all right? So how do you get one? Let's just get right into the video. How do you buy one? Real simple. Go to uh, Maze Bank Foreclosures and basically go up to the top right corner and filter out only nightclubs. And then it'll show you all the locations around the map. The nightclub business is so good pretty much all the locations except for the ones far down south I mean are really okay they really are and like I said right now they are 60% off so you can get some tremendous deals okay the one that I would recommend though that I think is the best overall this is probably I would say you know agreed upon by most people would be the downtown Vinewood nightclub this location is going for 501,000 right now because it's on discount until Thursday Typically, though, it's 1670000 Definitely worth it. That's the one I would recommend. Easy access, good location for sales, all that good stuff. But again, you don't have to, to move these nightclubs. There's really no need to. Almost all the locations are just fine. There's a few that have, you know, kind of tight uh, spaces to get in and out of. But it's really no big deal, all right? Let's talk about the renovations. Now, the renovations are really, they're not that bad. They're pretty affordable. Uh, everything is on sale, though, nightclub style. You can adjust that. But really, you don't have to, you know, unless you just want to kind of truly customize it, you don't really have to do anything with this stuff except for the storage. And we'll get to that in just a minute, all right? Uh, you can check out the lighting rigs. It'll play a little video, show you what the lights look like. That's really cool. I like that they do that. It gives you like a... A live display of what they'll actually you know be doing in your club that's really cool so definitely check that out but again you know don't have to have it it's just the cosmetics but I promise you once you get inside the nightclub you're gonna want to customize it and have some fun with it the good thing is it doesn't cost that much and it is on sale right now so you can change your club name again whatever you want it to be it does not matter uh, it's like what 10 grand 20 grand normally you know what I mean so no big deal all right, now this is important. The storage is tremendously important. Now, you don't have to have the extra floors for your vehicles, your garages, right? Uh, for your personal vehicles, you don't have to have those. But the extra floors for your storage, that is something you wanna have. If you wanna get all of them, you're looking at 1,700,000 and some change. If you wanna add on the garages as well for your personal vehicles, you're looking at around 2.1 million for everything all right so keep that in mind but again you know these are things you need to have especially for the storage uh the dancers you can adjust that however you want to the dry ice all that good stuff whatever you know again cosmetics don't have to have all your uh nightclubs will have a back entry to them it's like a little garage bay door that's really the best way to go in and out of your nightclub because it, you don't have to walk through the nightclub it's much much quicker you can kind of like jog and move around much faster and it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. It's only saves like 30 seconds, but you know, you're going in and out of your nightclub a lot. You're not really going in to party. You're going in to get to your office to check your money and see if you want to sell. All right, now listen, the nightclub is awesome, right? I'm gonna give you a quick look at what mine looks like. Super cool, you know, but you're not gonna be focused on that really, except for the first maybe a week after you've bought this, you'll play around, but then you'll be getting to your money and getting to business, right? While you're in your club, you have a, a part of your nightclub management in the interaction menu. It's got some settings in there. I'll let you go through all that. Remember, I have a complete full tutorial on the nightclub. This, I'm kind of mashing like three videos together into this one video for you guys. You know, kind of giving you a, a walkthrough, guide, tutorial, you know, whether or not you should buy, all that kind of stuff I'm going to put in there. Right now, it's double money on the nightclub stock. You can make over three million dollars fully loaded it normally will pay out one million six hundred ninety thousand so you're looking at three million uh three point three million is what you're looking at a little over three point three million when it's all said and done so now this is extremely important as well not only do you have to have extra floors for storage you also need your upgrades equipment upgrades staff upgrades and security upgrades most important are going to be the equipment and the staff for the equipment, you're looking at 1425000 For staff, 475000 
For the security, you're looking at 695,000. The warehouse management tab is where you'll assign your warehouse technicians and you do have to purchase these guys. You'll drop about a million dollars buying all your warehouse technicians. I get it. It's expensive, but I'm telling you, man, the nightclub is worth every penny. And we'll talk about what it's all going to be said and done. The nightclub popularity, there's a little trick that I came up with uh, that you'll never have to do popularity missions ever again. All you have to do to keep and maintain your nightclub popularity, you just switch, you rebook your DJs 10 times. You spend $100,000 and then every three hours you come back to it, switch your DJ one more time and you'll never lose popularity and you will always make money off of this and you'll never have to do another nightclub popularity mission. You see right there, the nightclub popularity is almost up. I just did nine swaps, go back, do the 10th one. Popularity is maxed out. After about three hours, it'll drop down to 95% and you're still making your max amount of money. You just go in there, switch it back, and then it's back up to 100% and you always will make a profit. It's so cool. So I came up with this that I know of. I don't know. I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying this is something I, I figured out uh, and it, it works. So it's cool. You don't have to worry about doing nightclub popularity missions anymore. So if you want to see a more detailed video on that, just let me know in the comments down below. And then, yeah, you know, every uh, every few hours just go in and collect your cash out of your wall safe in the nightclub. And, you know, I've made almost $2 million off the wall safe cash. I talk a lot of smack about it, uh, but I've made like almost $2 million off that. So anyways, though, you got your sell good uh, section right here. You can sell the goods by, them, by themselves independently. You know what I mean? Uh, like, for example, if you want to sell your South American imports, which is basically your cocaine business for the MC, uh, you can do that just by itself if you want to. You can sell special orders, which will give you a little bit more money than if you were just to sell that all by, you know, all together. Uh, but if you, you know, I, I recommend just sell all together. At the very least, though, make sure that you are over $1 million because Tony will take a 10% cut, but his 10% cut is is it. It doesn't go above $1 million. So if you sell $1.2 million, he still gets 100000 uh, if you sell one million, it's a hundred thousand. If it's two million, it's a hundred thousand. So just try and sell over a million. That way, you don't have to pay him uh, that much. It's just a better income uh, ratio for you. All right. So keep that in mind. And again, man, you can make a tremendous amount of money with a nightclub. This is, this is the first time I've ever made the stock double money. The wall safe, they always make double money, but uh, I think that's a great idea. I don't know why Rockstar doesn't make the nightclub double money more often. It takes like sixty hours to fully. Uh, fill it up. So it's not like we're getting rich quick. It's just a cool, you know, concept. This is your wall safe right here, uh, where you pick up your daily income. It's uh, normally seventy grand. However, Rockstar puts it on double money a lot, so you get one hundred forty thousand dollars for it. It takes uh, several hours for it to max out. So, uh, again, I have a full guide uh, talking about all these details. Right. Let's talk about the basement levels. All right. These are your different levels for your stock, and they also will hold other things as well. Let's just go check out basement level two real quick. Uh, level basement level two is just a, you know this is where your storage is. All the different businesses that you already own will you know feed into the nightclub. That's how the nightclub works. The more businesses you own in regard to like you know MC businesses, bunker, uh, you know cargo warehouses, crate warehouses, things like that, those will feed money into the nightclub automatically. You do nothing but you just own those businesses. They don't even have to be running. You just, you know, you do your normal MC business stuff, your bunker business, your crates, and they just feed money into your nightclub. It's it's so easy, man. All right. Uh, basement level five holds your terabyte. You guys all know about the terabyte. The nightclub is the paywall for the terabyte. Must have as well. Terabyte, you have to have that. Uh, there's five tons of videos of talking about the terabyte, but it's on level five. And you have a workshop there where you can customize it. And that's where you can also customize your Mark II oppressor, which is inside the terabyte. Basement level one is a different type of floor. This is where all of your cell vehicles are at. Now, let me give you guys a big tip right here. You get the Speedo van for free. That's really all you need. All you need is a Speedo van. Do not armor it though. If you're doing nightclub sales, try and do it in a solo public lobby or with your friends. Uh, but when you put like all the armor, like the big scoop, it, it, it trips you up a lot. You get caught up. Same on the pounder. The pounder, you know, just leave the armor off of it. You don't have to have it. A lot of this stuff just messes up. If you do want to buy the extra vehicles, only buy the Pounder though, all right? The Pounder is $241,000. You can customize it in the garage, all right? So, uh, you know, should you buy the nightclub? 100%. Hell yeah, you got to have it, man. 
I mean, that's that's a no brainer. I know a lot of you do have it, but I've been, I've had a, several people ask me to make a guide or like a like a recap video on this. So I went ahead and did this for you. I hope I helped out. I hope I answered some questions for you. If you do have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, if you want to go in with a nightclub, you can start out with a nightclub. You can get it going very, very cheap for around 500000 right now. But even when it's not on sale, it's still very cheap. But if you do want to max it out, get all the floors for it, get the uh, terabyte, you know what I mean? You're going to drop between 5 and $7 million on this with all the upgrades everything. So just keep that in mind. It's not that bad. It's a, it is an expensive you know venture to get into, especially when you fully max it out. But it, it pays for itself in no time at all, all right? So that's what it is. Thank you so much for coming out to the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash. I mean, smash that like button. You guys stay dangerous. See the next one. Peace out. Yeah.